Hey, what's going on guys? Dropship Tyler here and today I'm going to be doing a presentation that I recently did, I think two or three weeks ago on the Raken Profit Show. If you guys don't know who Steve Raken is. Uh, he was one of the, or he is one of the biggest eBay flipping, um, so like thrift store finds, you know, etc. Uh, he's one of the biggest channels for that and um, also just making money online in general. So I got to go on his channel and present this to his audience and I wanted to go ahead and present it to you guys as well and just, yeah, give my thoughts on everything as I go through it. And if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, I would highly suggest and I would hope that after this you would go ahead and subscribe. And uh, go ahead and look through my other videos as well. Um, I do give out free information on a daily basis. And also, I go live every Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. And I answer questions live um, on my channel at that time. So if you have questions you want answered live, check, out, check it out at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays. So without further ado, let's get into it. And here we go. So, how to find high profit products drop shipping on eBay in 2019. Presented by myself, Dropship Tyler. And I have a site called ecomscholars.com and that is where you will find the automated drop shipping blueprint if you are interested in that. That course is going to be on how to create a fully automated business using the Salefreak software. Currently that that program is $97. Um, we are going to go to 147 sometime in the new year, um, but you can find that discount code in the description below. So there are two types of items that we're going to be focusing on in 2019 for high margins. And that is the open box items and the Amazon coupon items. So for those of you guys that watch my channel, I'm sure you know that I am a big fan of open box items. And what open box items are, are there items that are being sold on eBay that are sourced specifically from the Amazon warehouse deals section. So if you go to amazon.com, you know, you can see the drop down at the top and you can click on Amazon warehouse and then all of the same categories are going to come up as the new items but it, when you click on it uh, now it's going to show the Amazon warehouse deals in those item categories so here was an example of what it looks like on the actual item page itself and if you click in for example this product the cool life luggage three-piece set suitcase um, this is the uh, best seller for suitcases for suitcase sets and uh, that's why I got this product. I also sold something close to this uh, at the time I did this presentation. That was an open box item that I made some decent money on. Um, so I searched suitcase sets and this is what I came up with. So as you can see here, we do have a Cool Life luggage as the seller for $119.99. Uh, the condition for that item is brand new. Um, but if you look at the Amazon warehouse deal and you know obviously I'm I'm tax exempt but even if you're not you're st it's still ten dollars cheaper than the uh, cool life luggage new but the thing about this condition here these used like new Amazon is very very sensitive to item condition so they're not gonna put something that's like new unless it really is like new in my experience sometimes there will be pieces missing or you know things like that because it, it was a returned item but for something like a luggage suitcase you don't really have to worry about that it's more so like furniture um, or things that need to be assembled or you know uh, yeah just in general things that have a lot of pieces um, but this these right here are probably just returns where somebody bought the item and they didn't want the item anymore so they returned it and then instead of you know Amazon being like, oh, this item, we have to ship it back to the seller. Um, well, no, it's it's still in good condition. There was nothing wrong with it. Uh, the person probably just returned it as didn't like the item or something. And now it's used like new. And Amazon Warehouse Deals is selling it. So 
yeah that's that's the explanation of the condition and you can also just see that you know the the price is a lot different and so if you're tax exempt there you have 17 dollars more margin to work with um and you know you can actually price lower than the brand new item on amazon uh still with just the with just the open box item and people like a discount so if you say that it's like new or you know the way it shows up in sale freaks is new um or other new other and you can it, it gives a description of what exactly that means and i'll show you guys in the next slide i, I believe yes yeah, so new other uh see details like new condition and you can see that and this isn't this this isn't the same item um so if you're wondering why the price is so high uh i don't mark it up that high i do mark it up high but not that high all right so open box items like new items this is the template that sale freaks is going to use as the default uh when they're listing these items so you can see it says and again this is the default template uh so you can see all our open box items are in great condition each of them is tested and verified by professional logistics teams. In most cases, you'll hardly notice the difference between our open box items to equivalent new items. Sometimes the products, the product box do not meet brand new item standard, but besides that, you will own a great product in a competitive price. Nevertheless, if for some reason you are not happy with your order, you may return for a full refund. So that is the, the template right there. And it really is a limited offer because there's only so many of these open box products. Um, and then, you know, outside of that, uh, once once they sell, you have, Amazon has to wait for a return to come in again. And so that's one of the big things I recommend when you're listing open box items is list the items that have good star ratings and um, sell a, a decent amount on Amazon. And that's one of the filters you can actually put in uh, sale freaks because if something doesn't sell very often and it just so happens there's like you know just one open box item you sell it and then it's out of stock for months at a time um, that's just not it's not going to be very good for your business so as you can see these were my results at the time from uh, from mid-march and this is just one open box account I actually had another open box account and I deleted it from the um, sale freak system. I turned that one into an only uh, only new item account. So the way the sale freak system works in that regard is so if I have two accounts and two of them are open box, like have open box on them, it's actually going to show up as four accounts on sale freaks so that when you you know you see this filter here where it says account and i only have one selected um there would actually be four accounts for me to select from there'd be account one and then account one open box and then account two and then account two open box so i deleted the open box off of one of my accounts and um because i was trying to i was trying to isolate them and put them all on one one account when the four percent fee came out and I've still yet to be hit by that actually on on either account. Uh, eBay keeps adjusting it, saying that it due to circumstances out of my control, they're not charging the four percent fee, which is good for me. But anyway, so all of my history got deleted from the uh, Sale Freaks Profit dashboard. So as you can see, um, I, ha I do have twenty two thousand dollars of front end profit uh, from this one account, and. The profit percentage is 10.17%, so it is higher. Um, my product cost was $167,792, and that's on 4,271 items sold. So I did $216,837 in sales on eBay. And with the 5% cashback card, um, that's uh, that. so total with the 5% cashback card, so the profit plus 5%. That's going to be thirty thousand three hundred ninety-six dollars of profit on open box items alone. And again, this was just one account. Uh, if I could have the other account up there, I mean, I would. I would guess it's closer to forty-five to fifty thousand. So I wish I had that other account. But um, yeah, when you delete it, it deletes off the uh, history profit clock. So you you really want to make sure you're doing accounting on your own as well. You can't rely on a software to do it for you you can rely on a software to give you a good idea of how much you're actually making but again if you delete something 
um, you know, it's not it's not going to give you the accurate numbers. So, um, yeah, I, I I mean, this is a this is a great number for this one account, but uh, again, I did have two. So now you're wondering probably, you know, how many open box items I had or to do this on this account and uh, how much is that going to cost you? Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I have the anchor store pulled up here from eBay. This is a screenshot from eBay. And as you can see, it's $299.95 a month with an annual subscription. I believe it's $350 a month uh, with a a month to month subscription so only fifty dollars more and then i only had around five thousand uh open box items at any given point on this particular account and i should have had a lot more but i just i went through a time during summer where i just wasn't listing as much as i should have been um i went really hard at first i probably had a little over five thousand at first not much over uh, and then I quickly, you know, deleted them, scaled back as I realized that some of the items I was listing um, were not good quality. So they just weren't getting a lot of, they, they weren't staying in stock uh, ever pretty much. So I had tons and tons of out of stock. So I started deleting them and really being more selective on what type of open box items I actually listed. So as you can see, the 250 plus $300, 250 is how much the 5,000 listing item plan is, which is what you need to do open box. Um, as you can see by that, sorry, I have to cough again. All right, at least I turned my mic down for that one. All right, so the 250 plus 300, $550 a month expenses times the eight months that I had been doing open box, that equals $4,400 in expenses. So as you can see by that last slide, you know, I, I gross profited 30,396 and then, you know, I would have only had $4,400 in expenses for these items. Um, and what's crazy is I could have doubled my plan and the $300 would have stayed the same, uh, because of the fact that, you know, um, you can have up to 10,000 items on an anchor store without having insertion fees. So here's how you're going to list these items quickly using the Sale Freaks open box locator. So if you go to the locator, you're going to see that there's a drop down. It says condition new and then it says condition open box. You're going to want to select that open box and you're going to want to click search and compare. You don't want to do a speed search. If you do a speed search, it's just going to pull all of the ASINs uh, from that particular search you did. And it's not actually going to compare them to the sales on eBay. So you want to search and compare. So now we had this luggage set uh, link that I was showing you guys before. And I did three stars and up for this one. I didn't do a price filter or anything like that for it. Um, and you, as you can see, this is a very niche uh, search by having only 142 results um, and, you know, actually saying luggage sets. Uh, I like to do typically broader searches. Um, but for this example, since we showed the luggage set earlier, uh, you know, just doing it for that. I like to do broader. So maybe do like travel gear or something like that and see what comes up. Uh, see if you can get um, something like four to five thousand results would be good to scan. And then, you know, you can you can filter out the ones that are actually good. So as you can see, we took that link and we dropped it in here and we're just naming the locator luggage sets and we're going to do search and compare. And that was that was open box items. So once that comes up, then, you know, the, the locator has um, different filters. They have cold, they have warm, hot very hot, super hot, and no competition. I used to list all of them, so it didn't matter what, and that's one of the things that, you know, I think I made a mistake on in the beginning, is I was just trying to get a ton of open box items up. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I would scan a category and just list everything from it, and then scan another category, list everything from it. And um, that's why I, I was over 5,000 at one point, but the average is probably around 5,000 that I've been at. I, I don't think I've ever been over 10,000. That's, that's for sure. So either way, I was making a decent amount of profit, um, net profit off of that, that $30,000 in gross profit. So 
Yeah, so one of the things now is I like to tell people just go hot plus and go three stars and up. I'm, I'm big on just every single search only doing three stars and up. You're going to have a lot less returns um, happen because usually the items that are one or two stars on Amazon are pretty, pretty crap items or uh, they just don't have a lot of reviews. And, you know, maybe one or two people didn't like them and they left a, they left a bad review. So, yeah, I, I like to get stuff with, uh, with three stars at least. If you guys have any questions about open box, leave those in the comment section below. So coupon items. These are going to be the, the other way to make big profits, in my opinion. You can actually price these at a negative profit and be the lowest cost on eBay and make money. Um, it's, it's crazy. So a lot of people don't realize how big some coupons actually are. <clears throat> I've had some that... Well, you'll see. I, I actually give some examples. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you guys those in a little bit. But you can go, I mean, you can go negative 5% and still make money, especially if you have the cashback card. Uh, at minimum, usually these are going to be 5% off items. Uh, so there's your there's your 5% there, and then you make 5% of cashback. But you don't typically need to go that low. So let's look at these. So some of these are items that I've sold recently. And um, as you can see here, it actually shows you which orders have a coupon on them. Uh, so these were some of the the uh, coupons I had. So this one was $120 before the coupon. And then the discount applied was $40. So I only paid $80 on this item. So yeah, it was amazing. $40. That's 33% savings. All right. So then I had this one. Um, it was around, I guess, a 10%. The coupon value was 12 so yeah, I, I it was a little less than ten percent, but or sorry, it is ten percent. Um it's it's very early in the morning. Um so yeah, it's it's ten percent. <clears throat> and uh that's that I mean again you can price a negative five percent, make five percent profit, then make five percent cash back. Like it's crazy how good the coupon items are. Again, here was another one for ten percent. So here's what the coupons actually look like when you are checking out or when you're looking at a product. So this one, for example, it says save an extra 10% when you apply this coupon. So you're going to click that box and then it's going to say like coupon clipped or something. And that at that point, the once you go to check out, the coupon will automatically be recognized. What's cool is Sale Freaks automatically does this with their their coupon hunter program or you know when it goes to order uh it automatically clips the coupon and applies that discount to your order for you so the auto order picks it up it's huge um i've saved i've saved almost 900 dollars at this point from coupons and i think it's only been two months so yeah i've at this this past 30 days i've done like 550 dollars in savings and coupons all right, so here are just an overview of the new Coupon Hunter feature. It's a new feature by Sale Freaks that was just released 10 days ago. That was at the time of the Rake and Profit show, so it's been probably 25 to 30 days at this point. Um, it automates the process of finding coupons and listing them. So basically, Sale Freaks has a database of around 5 million products that all have coupons with them, and you're going to enable Sale Freaks in your, your actual... Uh, global settings themselves and at that point sale freaks will automatically start listing products for you and you can list up to two percent of your plan daily so if you have a ten thousand item plan you can list up to 200 coupon 100 items a day um, you don't i don't recommend like scaling that fast you want to make sure that you know you're deleting and replacing and you're not overwhelming yourself with just coupon hunter items um, because they are a great way to make profit but again some of the items that are going to be listed have no sales history at all and one thing i do recommend is starting them off at a very 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 low margin so you can go negative on these um, if you're if you're tax exempt and then just make a ton of money off of just coupons alone all right, so yeah, and it just it takes just a couple minutes to set up, and Sale Freaks will begin listing the coupons item on a daily basis. All right, so how do I start using this feature? 
So you're going to head to the settings and you're going to go to global settings and then select the account you want to use with the coupon hunter. And from there, you're going to scroll down and in the global settings, you'll find this coupon hunter uh, section and it says find the, or, sorry, um, I'll read what coupon hunter is right here. So it's coupon hunter is a bot which tracks items with Amazon coupons and lists them automatically to your store. So find the coupon hunter setting within global settings and enter your preferred filters and daily limit then save your settings So here we have we only want to list products that have a three to five star rating um, That's going to help you out a lot if you want to I mean you could just do five to five star rating and I'm sure it would still find a lot of items for you um, But yeah, so we do um, I guess this this person here. This is Anthony's account uh, I guess he sets his to 320 a day <clears throat> so he has a 16,000 item plan. Um, that's 2% of his plan. Uh, myself, I, I was listing uh, uh, up to 800 a day, but I was also deleting a lot of items a day. Um, I since have scaled that back to only list, listing 400 a day. And I'm just, yeah, so I don't want to delete too many and add too many new ones a day. I think what I'm doing right now is fine, especially on top of um, my sales hunter that's going on. And if you guys don't know about the sales hunter, uh, what that does is it automatically lists products to you uh, for to your account also and it's gonna you basically put in a list of competitors that you want sale freaks to track and snipe from and it's automatically gonna snipe the listings from those sellers so that's another automatic uh, feature that you can enable along with coupon hunter and the daily the listing generator will list the amount of items you specified like clockwork each day as you can see the items are being listed every day um, from, to the account. So start date 12-13, 12-12, 12-9. I guess he had it off for a little bit. 12-8, 12-8, 12-8, 12-7. So yeah, it's it's doing automatic. And it's going to keep doing the locator searches or the listing generator until you get that 320 up. So if you, you know, it's not just going to put 320 products in the listing generator and then half of them are blocked by the Vero filter. Um, and you know you only got 160 up it's gonna keep going until you get a full 320 up for the day and as you can see some of them failed here so yeah so like it's it it lists up to the amount that you know that you can potentially list all right so every day you'll see new coupons by sale freaks that you can start raking in those sweet coupon profits so we I guess we put that in there for um <laughs> for the rake and profit show that's funny it's a good one anthony because he was the one who did this slide and so that is the end of the presentation um if you guys want to check out sale freaks and check out the course that i created on that anthony and i created on sale freaks um the link for sale freaks is in the description below anthony and i do have a mentorship program within sale freaks if you join so if you join sale freaks using our link you're going to get six months of a discount or six month discount of 50 percent off and you're going to be eligible for um you know our mentorship program uh as well as i highly recommend that if you're interested in using sale freaks spend the 97 dollars and get that course i know it's my course so it's easy for me to say that but I have to tell you that the learning curve on a software like this um, is going to be a lot longer if you don't have something that's going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually you know, work through everything. But yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching this video, and I hope you'll subscribe to this channel, and I hope you'll like this video if you liked it. Thanks for watching.